Welcome back. The 108th Annual Toy Fair opens this Sunday in New York City. It's part of the heartbeat of the $22 billion toy industry and a showcase for new products. Today, we get a sneak peek with toy expert Elizabeth Warner, who joins us live by satellite from the Javits Center in New York. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. This is the show where we get to see what's the next Cabbage Patch Kid or the Tickle Me Elmo, the next big thing on the toy horizon, correct? Exactly. 100,000 toys are displayed at Toy Fair, 7,000 of them brand new, and over 20,000 people from around the world attend to check out some of these great items. And I have a sneak peek for you today. All right. Show us what we've got. Well, let's talk, start talking about toys for boys. What have we got? Absolutely. Well, boys and girls, of course, loving Justin Bieber. This is the Justin Bieber tour bus and concert stage and the Justin Bieber real hairstyle doll. Check that out. It's got the real swoosh going on there. Justin Bieber is all the rage with both boys and girls. His music is a hit sensation. This bus is actually what he's going to ride around in and tour in to go to concerts. Then it absolutely opens up to the most fantastic concert stage you have ever seen. It has bright lights that will be built in. An MP3 player can plug right into this. You can get your cool tunes playing at the same time and really reenact that whole concert and movie experience that kids are really into. Do we now, know? Another you ask, boys. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I was say, do we know what the price point is going to be on that? Yeah, this one is $79.99 for the actual cool bus stage combination that works as an MP3 docking system as well. And then, of course, there's the doll, $17.99. Okay. So, uh. really great price points for these items. Now, little guys and girls loving hex bugs. These are micro robotic creatures. You turn them on, they actually move around looking like a real bug. Well, this year they have brought it up a notch, made it really fun and exciting because it now glows in the dark. Now, these habitats or mazes can be put together together to expand that fun, expand the play so they can have a huge environment or they can keep it nice and small if you have a limited space. But the cool magic this year is the glow in the dark feature. Kicking it up that a notch. Jog a dark. <laughs> Exactly, and that's what they do. If there's a great item, if you can combine it with something else to make it really neat, like a glow-in-the-dark feature, it's fabulous. That This year, the great collectible that we're going to be scammering and looking everywhere for is Dogadar. Mark my word, just like Bakugan a few years back, this is what kids are going to be looking for. It's got a great collectability feature because they're all of the round spheres, the ball bearings, are characters. They have great faces painted on, really exciting stuff, but here's the magic. You need some skill, you need some fast pace, some eye-hand coordination, because you're going to be playing with these ball bearings on cool tracks. They're going to do flips, jumps, and there'll be some racing involved. So not only a collectible, but a game as well. Oh, kind of fun. Now, speaking of collectibles, <laughs> these are Zoobles. Zoobles are adorable. They're a very big collectible for little gals in 2010. Well, this year, they have brought out the mamas and the babies. I love this. Girls love to nurture. We're going to take that mama turtle. There she is. Put her on her habitat. She pops open. <laughs> then the baby comes out. That also pops open. Isn't it adorable? That is adorable. Really cute. So the kids will collect them. They'll play with them. They'll have that nurturing feature. So something very, very nice for the little ones. Now, Lego, every year, a massive hit. People call me and they say, what, what's the big Lego this year? What's the big Lego this year? There are so many fabulous kits that match each age group, but I love Lego City. This is something that children can collect over time. They create their own cities at home, building one structure at a time. This is the actual police station. Really cool, intricate station, state of the art. They're going to build this by following step-by-step -step directions, which is really great. This is what their end product is, which is fun. They can actually play with it, add it to the other portions of their Lego City, and again, it's Lego. So at the end of the day, if they'd like, they can take it apart and build anything they want using their imagination. So as always, Lego, very well done. Well, the Toy Fair is for industry professionals, but we can actually follow along on Facebook and, and see what's new, right? That's right. Yes, the Toy Industry Association, it's been around for a long time, sponsors this fabulous, fabulous fair. You can actually go online, follow it on Facebook, and learn a lot more about the whole toy fair. And you can hit our website as well, moreaboutthat.info, to learn more about these great, fun products. Oh, it looks like you're going to be playing all day long, Elizabeth. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yes. All right. Thank have a great day. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Thanks.